क्वेश्चन थ्री सेज दैट ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल एंड पी क्यू आर एस आर द मिड पॉइंट्स ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल ए बी बी सी सी डी एंड डी ए सो हे इज अ फिगर आई ड्रॉन फॉर यू ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल यू कैन सी दैट पी क्यू आर एस आर द मिड पॉइंट्स ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ दिस रेक्टेंगल एंड दे आर जॉइंड एंड वी हैव टू शो दैट द कॉर्डिलेटल फॉर्म्ड पी क्यू आर एस इज अ रॉम्बस so this is kind of similar to question 2 of this exercise in question 2 the midpoints of a rhombus were joined and the resulting quadrilateral we had to show was a rectangle in this case it's the other way around the midpoints of a rectangle are joined and we have to show that the resulting quadrilateral is a uh, rhombus now to prove this fact we will use the result we proved in uh, question 1 of this exercise where we proved that if you join the midpoints of the sides of a quadrilateral you get a parallelogram so i'm going to uh, prove that result briefly here but if you want to uh, understand it in detail you can go back to the video of question 1 and watch it again so we will start by proving that pqrs is a parallelogram and to do that all we need to do is to draw one diagonal of the rectangle so let's draw the diagonal ac and then we will study the relationship of pq with ac and rs with ac so first let's see how pq is related to ac so if you take uh, the triangle abc observe the triangle abc and uh, apply the midpoint theorem to triangle abc p and q are the midpoints of ab and bc so using the midpoint theorem we can claim that pq is um, parallel to ac and pq is equal to half of ac so pq is equal to half of ac similarly if you apply the midpoint theorem to triangle dac so s is the midpoint of da and r is the midpoint of dc so we have sr is parallel to ac and sr is equal to half ac again using the midpoint theorem so from these two relationships we can claim that pq and sr are parallel to each other so pq is parallel to sr and also pq and sr are equal to each other as well because both are equal to half of ac so pq is equal to sr as well and this means that in quadrilateral pq rs one pair of opposite sides are parallel and equal so pq rs is a parallelogram Okay so this is how we prove that PQRS is a parallelogram now all we need to show is that the adjacent sides of this parallelogram are equal uh, and that will mean that PQRS is also a rhombus to prove that let's draw the other diagonal also the other diagonal BD also now i want you to think about the relationship of the other two sides of PQRS with BD so think about the relationship of PS with BD and think about the relationship of qr with bd so let's think about the relationship of ps with bd so to do that we will apply the midpoint theorem um to triangle abd so abd is this triangle that i am highlighting now uh in this triangle p is the midpoint of ab and s so p is the midpoint of ab and s is the midpoint of ab so by the midpoint theorem we have ps uh is equal to is parallel to half uh, parallel to bd and equal to half of bd so ps is equal to half of bd okay now we just need to focus on the fact that pq is equal to half ac pq is equal to half ac and ps is equal to half bd but in a rectangle we know that the diagonals are equal the diagonals in a rectangle are always equal so in abcd because this is a rectangle ac is equal to bd and this means that because ac is equal to bd this means that pq and ps must also be equal because they are half of ac and bd respectively so pq must be equal to ps so what we now have is a parallelogram pqrs in which the adjacent sides pq and ps we have shown as equal and this means that pqrs must be a rhombus so from here we can conclude that pqrs 
is a rhombus and this completes our proof so to summarize once again first in the first part of the proof we proved that pqrs is a parallelogram and this is something we had done in question 1 i just recap that in detail here uh, in brief here if you want to see it in detail you can go to the video of question 1 so first we proved that pqrs is a parallelogram and then we proved that the adjacent sides of pqrs are equal and how did we do that well pq is equal to half of the diagonal ac of the rectangle and ps is equal to half of the diagonal bd of the rectangle and then we use the fact then that in any rectangle the diagonals are equal and hence the adjacent sides of pq uh, the adjacent sides pq and ps are also equal so pq rs is a rhombus so this completes question number 3 To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.